This is Tubby Toby's tank, and I know it's looking a little bit bare, there's just some substrate. Well today that changes. I got a massive shipment of plants from Dustin's fish tanks, and today I'm going to show you uh, basically just all the plants I got and me adding them to the tank. I actually don't know what most of these are. These first ones you see I believe are either Amazon swords or like large Anubius. Um, and then these other ones I'm putting in net now, you see, I think they're, those are just regular Anubias, like smaller Anubias. And I know I was told I'm not supposed to keep them in these little containers, and I'm not going to. I actually am in the process of getting pots, and I'm going to fill those pots with some rocks, and I'm going to be planting those in the pots. Uh, but for now, just, you know, to keep the plants alive, I'm just throwing them all in the tank. Now this parsley looking stuff, I'm not sure what it is, but I was told it can possibly grow just by floating, you know, on the top of the tank. So I'm just going to throw this stuff on the top of the tank, let it float, and let's see if it survives. You know, keep in mind here, guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, I am not big into aquarium plants. I'm just throwing a lot of things in here. Um, if they're very, you know, if they, if they take a lot of care and they have very specific needs, they're going to die. But if they're hardy and they can take a wide variety of needs, and they can withstand being eaten by the goldfish, They'll survive. Dustin also got me these awesome, really powerful grow lights. So these are going to help grow some of the plants in here because the lighting I had on here before was not super bright. These banana looking things I believe are some sort of lily. Uh, I'm also going to be putting these in a pot just because, you know, they're not holding that well into the sand. The goldfish, you know, uprooted them. So I'll put them, I'm going to put them in a rot and have some rocks hold them down. Dustin also sent me a ton of different floating aquarium plants, and I've heard these are very easy targets for the goldfish to eat. So I do not expect many of these to survive, but if some do, Good, very good. Uh, but I have I have little faith that these will survive the goldfish eating them. So I forgot to take a long ways video of what the tank looked like directly after putting all the plants in there. But it was beautiful. This is what it looks like a couple days later. As you guys can see, the goldfish have done their rounds. They've uprooted a lot of things. They've pushed a lot of stuff around. And they did eat a lot of the floating plants, but a good amount still remain. And that parsley-like stuff is growing. I can see new growing buds. So that is promising. Those might be able to just grow floating there. And if so, that'll be great. That'll be a super easy plant that I can just throw in all my tanks. Also, I didn't tell you guys, but I did set up another tank. I took Venom, and I took Venom's little brother, Quicksilver, and I took Kirby and Maximus and put them in this 75-gallon tank here. The stock tank that I had them all in was getting a little too crowded since I got the imports, so I decided to spread them out a little bit. And these guys are also going to be getting some plants in their tank. And just like the other tank, I'm just kind of throwing them in there. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. And even after that, I still had plenty more plants to add into Oreo and Wienerton's tank. Um, and right as I dropped it in, Wienerton immediately started eating it. So I don't know how long these are going to last, but uh, I will get some of these things in pots pretty soon. So that'll give it, you know, a little stable base. But um, these guys like to eat. It's like a salad bar for them. I also did throw in a couple plants in the turtle tank just to see how they reacted and right away they got to biting it up. Um, I don't think, I think these are even worse than goldfish when it comes to plants because it seems like they were, you know, right away ripping the leaves apart and they're, they're better at it than goldfish. Decided to put these two larger plants in this turtle tank as well. And by the way, the two common goldfish I have in here are still doing just fine. No, you know, scratches or scars on, on, on any of them. Doesn't seem like the turtles are trying to go after them. I uh, keep the turtles very well fed. So I think they're, they're content with their food and they're not trying to go after the fish. And even after all that, I still had some plants left over, so I decided to put them in the pet store goldfish tank. Um, and as you guys know, I separated the red caps way early on because Jill was 
well, eating some of them. She, she killed some. Um, but after giving the red caps a chance to grow up a little bit and get a little bigger and stronger, I reintroduced them, and it looks like everyone's fine. There has not been any aggression between Jill and the red caps, so that's good. As for plants eaten in this tank a couple days later, they didn't really eat too much. You know, they did me mess up the lilies a little bit. Um, and they did eat a fair amount of the floating plants. There's not many of those left, but these larger ones are still here. Um, but honestly, you know, if I get some pots for those other plants and, and you know, get them pretty established there, we might have some good long-term plants going. Also, some of you have been asking for a baby goldfish update. They're doing pretty good. Uh, not growing quite as fast as I wanted to. And, you know, there's really not so many after I've done a lot of my calling. And a lot of them are these dorsal fin babies. So they're not really true ranchus. They're closer to, like, basically a yunbao variety. They're a ranchu that has, like, a full dorsal. Um, but we'll see how they turn out as they grow older. Anyways, here's uh, two minutes of my goldfish swimming around in their plants looking absolutely beautiful. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it relaxing. I'm too lazy to voice over anything more. Luke's Goldies out.